So I'm going to derive the um, reflective property of an ellipse. Um, where we defined the ellipse uh, in terms of an envelope. Um, this is a pedal definition of the ellipse. And so here's uh, here's my circle. Um, I'm taking my focus and drawing from the focus um, to a particular point on the ellipse. And we're going to have a tangent to the lips there. And we'll have a chord coming across. So this, this is a right angle. Now, um, we showed that the other focus um, of the ellipse could be derived in this way by pulling and uh, creating a perpendicular um, here. In fact, I'm going to do more than that. I'm going to go all the way to um, all the way to the edge. Let me just uh, back off from what I just did. So we'll, we'll create another chord coming in perpendicular um, to the one which is the tangent to our ellipse. Now, in this diagram, we, we showed before that the angle here, um, let's make that theta. Yeah, is, um, GX Web wants to give me that angle. So in order to get uh, the one I want to be theta, we'll have to make that one pi minus theta. Um, now, if we come in and create a tangent here, um, we, we have shown that the point that lies on the ellipse has an angle in here of theta. Spell it right. Now, what I would like to show is that the angle H, G, E is also theta. What I'm going to do is to look at the symmetric angle. So there's the angle here. Yeah, let's put in a point so I can refer to it. Um, the angle there CDI is theta. What I'd like to do is find the angle out here of E, J, or J, E, H. And we find that is also theta in there. Uh, sorry, J E H. This angle angle up here is theta. And so by symmetric argument uh, to do before, we showed that I D C was the same as D G C. A symmetric argument to that gives us that H G E is the same as H E J, which is theta. So that is the reflective property of an ellipse. If you uh, send light to the ellipse, it reflects in the tangent. Remember, this is the tangent to our ellipse um, and reflects back to the other focus. Um, so that's the reflective property.